Nikita. Right, right. But, and again, yep, Roy, Roy versus Snake. All right, so we got the Snake and the Roy, both of these uh, players' mains. Right. So getting right into it, this is Losers Finals. going to be best of five, and that, that down air is such a strong out of uh, shield option for Snake. Yet again, no, just suffering through all these explosions. No, AC just doing a really good job keeping the Roy out. Because I feel like Roy is like the epitome of a rushdown like character, where he wants to like break your zone with the Nair, and then all of a sudden like you try to roll past him and he dancing blades you. So, ooh, well. AC, what are you <laughs> doing down there? Yeah, that was uh, a very optimal punish coming out from Sour. He knew that uh, directional air dodge was coming in, so he, he had the down air to meet it. Ooh, and I like that, the early up B and then the drift back to avoid the up tilt. Sauro out here making a, making a not so crazy recovery, looking like it has a lot more mix-ups than a lot of people think. I mean, definitely, I feel like Roy's side B is definitely one of the most like underrated like recoveries. Like, it's not amazing, but it's not as bad as people say it is. And that double nair into the side B was so nice. That side B gave him enough range to like finish off the combo, and it does so much damage. Wow. No, no, I like the attempt right there. He he, kind of wave landed back on the stage to avoid any of Snake shenanigans. But you know what? I feel like he just missed base what to do afterwards. And then unfortunately, he got up tilted for it. Yep. Oh, the explosion not going to hit. The parry jab back air. But really good DI in coming out from AC. Right. Okay. Ooh, the grab on the uh, the landing right there on the beer of his landing. Cyro still keeping this pressure up. This is relentless. Ooh, oh, oh, I saw the explosion. I'm just like, he's going to go for the fair and then, like, kind of spike him back for what happened on the first talk. But no, just, I didn't think he believed in it. Yeah. He had the Nair there, but it was just a tad bit off on the spacing. But nonetheless, Cyro going to close out that second stock with the double edge dance, I believe. That's what it's called, right? Yeah, double edge dance. All right, so. That one's always weird because I always used to call it dancing blade. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so there's the grenades. Oh, another directional air dodge Ooh. to the ledge. Wow. Well, that I'm, combos. I mean, the, that jab just covers so much range. It, you think it's like, oh, it's a tiny little sword. And like, yeah, it doesn't have a lot of like horizontal range in front of it, but like like below it and like kind of like in Roy's hitbox. Like there's a hitbox like in his like arm. Like, yeah. And like if you get like in him, like kind of like the rest hitbox where like it's inside Jigglypuff, you know? Right. It has one of those hitboxes, so it can like scoop up people like trying to cross up your shield or trying to roll past you really well. Yeah, that move busted. Definitely busted. I feel like the move isn't busted. It's the fact that it combos into fair, which kills stupid early is busted. Right, like, well, the, the risk reward of the move mm -hmm. and like what you get out of it. Like, oh, that's yeah. what, yeah, 100% agree. Because it's not like, if you're ready for it, for the most part, you can punch it out of shield if your right. character doesn't have like garbage out of shield options. Oh, but man, right now, AC bringing it back. I like the grab into the grenade toss. Yet again, you can see him like just totally playing it on like the back burner, you know, just be like, okay, I'm gonna wait for you to approach and I'm just gonna sit here and throw grenades at you and I'll slowly chuck a percent like here and there, nickel to nine you until all of a sudden you're at a hundred percent. But yet again, no seventy seven percent is not too far off, but he gets hit by the last hit dance or oh my god, now you said dancing like that. <laughs> double edged dance. <laughs> But the up air will close it out. You know, whenever I'm in dire times, I just say side you know, yeah. you, you can never mess up with side view. But Cyro will go ahead and take that game number one. Yep, that's game one. Yeah. You know, again, just going running it back, you know. Yeah. It, AC was definitely making a strong comeback towards the end there, too. Yeah, I don't, so. I don't see a need to switch based off of that game one. Like you said, uh, AC was doing a really good job making that comeback. Mm -hmm. And Snake is definitely one of those characters that uh, it can be difficult to uh, play from behind just because of the nature of your character. You, I mean, there's, you can definitely make comebacks with Snake, don't get me wrong. But uh, Snake is definitely one of those characters where you're much better so when your opponents are coming into you. Right. No, I like that, just delaying the side B a little bit just so that he can you know, catch him off guard. Oh, yeah, for sure. Beautiful down tilt here. Right. Tick for tack here on this first stock. Oh, I, I like the attempt there. You know, he definitely waited for the punishment. He got the right timing, except the grenade didn't fly far enough away and he got hit by it. Wow, that was such a good jump from AC. The grenade exploded, but he was intangible, so I don't think he took damage from that, but just falling down with the back here as well. Whew, he wanted that air dodge. 
He wanted that young stock at 60% for sure. I mean, yeah, that's just the fear of fighting Roy is that, like, if one bad move and all of a sudden you, you just eat a forward smash at the face, and yeah, you're dead. Or like a side B at 70 and you're dead. This character is very, very scary. The kill power to back it up, man. Yet again, I, you know, I like how he didn't go forward because I feel like there was a there was a C4 on that platform and AC wanted him to like kind of follow him out over there, but you no, know, not really falling for that. So Nikita just barely covering his his side B right there, and you know what? He managed to get a grab off of it, and that was enough to take the stock. Yeah, Nikita, that did 21%. By the way, 21 damage. Frame three aerial out of shield. Insane. If you hit Just all, what is it, like five, six hits? Just Something hits like that, yeah. yeah. But man, that was a lot of damage. They're already at 47%. AC is still living here. 137. Just commanding this game number two. Oh, yet again, man, already, where did all this damage come from? I felt like he just died, and now, like, even now, like, Snake. You know, when he has the lead and you have to chase him down, you know, you're a lot more prone to make mistakes. You're a lot more prone to like take risks trying to take the stock and that's where Snake kind of just like, <laughs> I'm gonna hit you for this, or the grenade's gonna explode in. You know what, the more you try to push things, the more Snake kind of just punishes it for it. Yeah, and even right there, AC went for that up tilt. He knew the grenade was gonna like punish him for it, but that, that's also like a good backup plan because if you're up tilt, like if they shield it or you whiff it and they try to come in and punish, like you get blown back from the grenade. Will either set up for a trade or kind of like mess up their punish. Right? And here we go, the four glory special, the up <laughs> smash at ledge. What do you do? Well, you you wait it out apparently, because that's you got to figure it like, eh, he's not gonna hit it. Because yet again, I, I feel like is that like RNG which way the yes. the 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 mortar falls? It can yeah drop back or drop forward. That's why we saw AC like kind of go backwards a little bit. But the back air not quite enough. But will the Nikita be enough? Uh, I feel like at this point, no, he goes high and you know, just messes up AC's uh, approach option. You no, know, Dancing Blade to finish off the double nair, but uh, yeah, there's there's the I'm going to surprise you by lifting my leg into the air. Yeah, yeah. And because AC did a downward direction, it actually has less lag than uh, like going straight left or right or stuff. So he still had a little bit of end lag, but he had enough time to punish him for swinging oh, yeah. at that time. So really good uh, good whiff punish there from AC. Up tilt, bringing it home, solid two stock. So I wonder if we see the switch. No, yeah, uh, we might be gonna just go this matchup the whole set. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, both players are doing so well in the matchup. Like, I wouldn't be surprised to see like it go to game five. Oh yeah. But, you know, opting for a stage switch at the very least. So maybe the, the counter pick will do better for Roy in this matchup. I like, oh, this is like kind of scary though. I, me personally, I just feel like Smashville is a very strong stage for characters that like set up. Because like think about if when Snake has center stage control and you can't really like fall on top of him with aerials or whatnot because he's just standing underneath the center platform, you right. know? And then he's got, he's like setting up all these grenades and stuff underneath it. It can be really difficult. Definitely still doable, but just me personally, I, I definitely don't feel too comfortable um, taking any character that has strong center stage control onto the stage because of that fact. But Sauro doesn't care. He's going to get the double edge dance, take him off the side. Right. Yet again, no, AC kind of answering back strong, you know. Eventually, yeah, yet again, I feel like those mortars, like if they hit in the right spots, they can hit below the stage. So, you know, Syro just can't stay there forever. And these dash stacks coming out, even the back air. The back air, like, Snake lies on the ground after hitting the ground after back air, so it even makes it like low key kind of hard to punish him because he's just low to the lane, you know? And yet again, I feel like that's our spot back air, but you know what? He still manages to pick up the kill with the Nikita right there. Yep. And right there, he was drifting the Nikita to the left, but fun fact the uh, the way Nikita sends you just depends on the direction the player is holding. So, and, and it, it like it's frame one. So, like if I'm drifting on the key to the left, but right as it's about to hit, I just go back to the right, it'll send him out to the right. And that's what AC had to do there to get that stock. And yet again, super high. How's he gonna cover the landing? You know, he tried reading the, the drop through the platform, but you know, not gonna work out this time. Yeah, he gets the uh, jump double edge dance, but he does not get that sweet spot. That probably would have killed on Smashville if he got the sweet spot of that side B. Oh, yeah. Back air, another back air, man. 
That's, that's the crazy thing about Snake. He has so much great projectile and setup tools, and then like his normals are just so good. His normals and his aerials are so solid. Look at how much damage AC has done already 104 onto this Roy. Right. You know, a lot of Roy's bread and butters, you know, they kind of rely on you just kind of like swinging and missing, but you know what? You think like, oh, I'll just get up, attack him, and then up smash. But the the hitbox is still there, and you're gonna get punished if you don't shield it in time. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's definitely rough. But Cyro able to squeeze in that up air, get that second stock, and we're back on the board. One stock apiece here for this game number three. Here comes the up smashes. Down throw. Um, I feel like he was looking for a roll read, but he's yeah. not gonna find it. And you know what? Dude, there's a jab, but not going to be able to find a side B afterwards. And yet again, he gets grabbed again, and there he finds the roll, but not quite enough percent to kill. Okay. Ooh, there's the up B out of shield. Really good damage here. Getting it punished, but catches the landing right. with the side B. So now how's he going to catch this landing? Because he has to avoid the grenades and the C4 on, on the landing. Yeah, Ooh, right there, that falling up there. Actually causing him to pick up the grenade, and there's the up tilt to cover the ledge option. AC will go ahead and take game number three. Right. Covers normal get up, covers jump. I feel like it can cover roll too, just depending on how you space it. So it is such a good like ledge ledge trapping option. Oh yeah, amazing. All right, so game number three gonna go to A or yeah, go to AC there. Right. Now. Maybe, I don't know. I, I still think the Roy can do it. M me personally, I think the Roy can do it. Oh, I, I mean, I have no doubt that Cyro can do it. I mean, he's already pulled off one game with the Roy, so I feel like, I feel like AC, if he plays like he is now, playing like super passively, you know, getting, oh, he's opting for the Meta Knight, you know? Maybe he's just like, okay, my Roy took game one. He kind of adapted to it. It was close game one. It was kind of less close game two and super not close like game three. So let me switch to, the Ben and I and like switch up my pacing here, like make him guess what I'm gonna do this time. Yo, this is a brawl matchup right here, baby. Oh. Except uh, Snake is way better in this game. <laughs> oh, yeah. And Ben and not like busted to the point where like he's being banned. Yes. <laughs> ben and I was definitely the best character in brawl. Um, but the tables have turned. But are we gonna see? No. Guess the air dodge slashes them though. Out of resources here, going high. Oh, not running out of resources with jumps though, so yet again, can't really follow him forever in the air. Yeah, exactly. Oh, there's that dash tag, intangible head and arms. Okay, there's the explosions. Ooh, tried to get the, the grab in, but sneaky, sneaky down tilt. And Cyro just keeping the pressure up, but the spot dodge will get rid of that dash grab, and we've got the slash. Oh, yeah, I mean, that, that dimensional cape is so good because it kind of, like, bypasses the up smash almost, you know? Because most, most of the time, the up smash will fall in front of him. So, yet again, like, it'll kind of pop up behind Snake and come out with a super strong attack that can potentially kill. Yeah, another scary thing about this pick, honestly, is if AC plays, you know, has a secondary Meta Knight. So that's another scary thing about this, that it can be, it can be really rough. Right. Oh, but, but the down smash here. Yeah. And yet again, you know it. Uh, ben and I so has the lead, and now finally be like, okay, now you have to approach me eventually. So yep. yet again, 170 like it's not a good lead, but it's still one that forces AC to make the decision in the match. Ben and I is definitely one dash attack away from death here. I mean, one dash attack. I'm going to be surprised if grenade killed. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, there's the up B. Wow, the uh, directional air dodge. That was so far. I'm kind of mad that worked. But I mean, characters that can up B and directional air dodge are like stupid good recoveries. Like Net, like Ness. I almost think is like his double jump is basically like a Yoshi like double jump. You know? Right. And you have like a super busted air dodge. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay, taking a lot of damage. Try to catch him on that cipher. Eat that back air. Right. And you know what? Reading the option, uh, waiting for him to pick something off the of get up, and gets a dare, so gets a clean 48% off of that one exchange right there. Whoa, we got the forward smash. Might have been a probably a input error there coming out from AC. Oh, oh. <laughs> you know what? With the classic, dude. Yeah. The classic, like I have grenade in hand, and I'm gonna up throw and like kill us both. Mm -hmm. 
I definitely know that like that's actually a legitimate strat in dubs where like if you have a character that like Charizard or Meta Knight that, or even like K Roll like, has like the the I'm gonna go up into the stratosphere and then you blow up the explosive like yeah. right at the time. If you time it right, you can kill just the opponent and not your teammate. Yeah, yeah. And even like if C4 set up as well on one of the characters, like that that that'll definitely work. That was actually a super broken like brawl strategy too. And like both these characters were like godlike in brawl, so kinda crazy. Oh my god, I, I cannot imagine Dude, Meta Knight, so Meta Knight Snake Brawl doubles. Like, that that just sounds like... that. Uh, the, the, the only thing that sounds more cancerous than that is quadruple Double. Meta Knight. Yeah, that's happened before. Oh, yeah. no, I've seen the picture where the, the, literally... Yeah, that image is so funny. All the, four of them are uh, NATOing. Yep. That's a classic. Dude. All right, so last talk of peace here. Oh, the spot dodge. We're going to avoid that dash grab there, but... So he's keeping the stage control, but AC fighting his way out of the corner. Another beautiful grab out of the grenade. And this is, uh, this is looking pretty grim for Cyro. He's not out of it just yet, but, I mean, AC's also up a game as well. So if AC is able to close this game out, that will be the set. That will be Cyro's term in life. Right. And I feel like the other thing that Cyro has to keep in mind is that Meta Knight is not a heavy character. So, you know, he has to work probably like a good 30% more than AC does to find the kill. Ooh, almost getting it. Maybe he was looking for the parry. Oh, there's a forward smash safe yeah. on block. Try to set up some kind of situation. Right. I love how he just retreated right there because he knew, like, oh, he's probably going to throw an uh, up tilt. So let me keep myself safe. And, you know, just avoiding that up air, too. You no, know, all he needs is to find that, like, one the one dash attack. But, wow. you know, that scooped him up all the way over there. Excuse me? Yeah, that, that move is huge. And it's crazy because it is hard to whiff punish Meta Knight's forward smash. Right. So he, like, came down right at the perfect timing to be able to punish the lag on the Midnight Force match, which is not easy to do. Definitely just goes to show like how much knowledge AC has of the character. Oh yeah. Uh, to be able to do something like that. That is not easy to do at all. I mean yet again and I feel like 